Hi everyone, it's me again. Part two of my design team project for Artie Mays. I thought I sounded really miserable in the first one. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry about that. I'm going to try and liven myself up a bit. But this is the second signature of this wonderful journal that I've created. Okay, so second signature here. I see an envelope which I've coffee dyed. Put the metal embellishment on it and inside there's some papers and journaling card. Don't you think I sound super sexy? What do you mean no? No, I don't actually do it. Anyway. And a tag and some more paper. I never sound sexy when I get a bad chest or throat. You know, some women sound really sexy, don't they? No, not me. I sound like a plague. Um, sorry, sidetrack there. <coughs> <coughs> Some more of the canvas ribbon, and another wonderful little envelope there. With a journaling card in. I've pulled the curtains back a bit as well, so I'm hoping it's a little bit lighter for you to see. Coffee stain doily. Here yeah, I made a, a little booklet out of one of the journaling cards, but I also stuck it on so it now forms a pocket as well, with a tag in the back, which is back to it coffee dyed paper. This I couldn't remember in the first part of the video. Vellum. So I've printed those two lovely ladies on vellum. As you've been inspired page there. Put washi tape around and another metal embellishment at the top. And then on this one here, another metal embellishment at the top there. And you pull the paper, the paper clip and I've done the trifold tags, which you can open in the opposite direction and write on the back too. And then I've got also the paper clip to just hold them in place. And then a lace pocket here. Oh, missed my lace up there. Lace pocket here on some dictionary page and then put a little booklet inside for journaling. This is one of the pages again with lines on and that flips open so that you've got a double page spread or a triple page spread to write on. This is one of the pockets from the kit. And I put some metal embellishments on them and some journaling cards and a piece of paper here and I couldn't remember this earlier either I do apologize it's a dreams etc paper so I folded that page in half to make almost like a little long booklet but the ribbon that I've put here can also be a bit of a tuck stroke belly band as well. Oh, sorry, knocking it. Then here on this page, smooth the paper clip across. This is an envelope and again I've cut the sides off this so that it opens as a flip out for journaling on. On this page here I've done some layering of book pages, music paper, muslin and another little bit of decorative paper and I'll put a doily here. This is the other side of the envelope there but this is also a, a tuck spot as well. I did another coffee dyed, <coughs> excuse me, 
coffee dyed glassine bag and again it's got another one of my embroideries on it made of beads that didn't quite make the cut and a journaling booklet and paper and tags so there's actually three one two three sets of pockets there to use here I used one of the pages and folded it up to make an elongated pocket used the metal embellishment there as the closure Let's see if I can just out. and then inside there's a sorry you can't see that can you unless you've got x-ray vision um, a long piece of paper in there which could also be used as a bookmark I guess and I did some stenciling with a doily it's one of the pages of the book here I put a bulb pin on with a little dangly on and some beads this is the centre of the second signature with one of the envelopes and again inside I can't get at them there you are. there's some pretty little journaling cards in there more stenciling this is with the peeled paint uh, distressing a little bit of a fancy ticket with a bit of Fibers on. Should be the inspired page. Another embroidery of mine that didn't make the cut. This was from a, a really large embroidery that I've done. Um, and this was just one part of it. As I say, it didn't quite make the cut, so I decided to include it in the journal. And I've attached it to a piece of coffee dyed paper so that behind it. There's a tuck spot for some journaling cards. Here I used an envelope and this is the flap of the envelope and again another embroidery, metal embellishment and some more journaling cards. And then that's the other side of the envelope with some more journaling cards inside. Yeah, I just clipped some of the <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, tag and journaling card to the page. This is a double page spread um, that didn't work quite as I wanted, but it got there. So let me just take these paper clips off because then you'll be able to see. So on this left hand side she flips open that way and she also flips open that way so there's lots of journaling space there and then this young lady on this side does exactly the same thing flips open that way another one of my flowers sandwiched between some tracing paper and she also flips out that way and flips that way now these two young ladies are attached with the corner photo brackets and pull it out and flip it over and I've attached a piece of journaling paper on the back and I've done that to both ladies I won't take them both out so you can either insert your own photograph in those photo corners or you can keep the young ladies uh, for journaling now as I say the Victorians <coughs> <coughs> excuse me the Victorians were renowned for their extrovert decoration and so I'd got this fabric so I cut out the fabric and stuck it to the page 
this is a technique I've used on a previous um, journal page where I've stuck the doily down and stuck it that way and that way so it leaves four little pockets and put some fabric on there too on this side I've joined the two pages together to make a big pocket and included some bits of ephemera and journaling cards just in there some more of the of them this is another embroidery that didn't make the cut and I've cut it into a rounded pocket shape and again attached some took some pieces of ephemera inside of there and then an alternate pages around here I stuck two of the journaling cards down and they're stuck together so that it's a tuck spot behind but whatever it is you insert you have to insert on the diagonal and then the back page has the pocket the same as the front with some journaling cards in and another piece on dunes etc and that concludes today's video of my design team project using Victorian women for Artie Mays. So thank you for bearing with me with my dreadful voice and uh, I'm sorry I don't sound more sexier than, you know, like I normally do, <laughs> she says. And I hope that this inspires you to go and have a look at the kits and have a go at making your own journal. Thank you so much for watching and for putting up with me. And I'll speak to you again soon. Hopefully. No, I won't be better because I've got, I've got another video to do tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, I'll have to put up with my silly voice again tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Bye.